Many people have heard of the grandparent scam when a caller claims to be a relative and says they urgently need money. Well, now the Montana Office of Consumer Protection is warning that scam is becoming more common. In this week's Fraud Watch, MTN's Jonathan Amberian has more on how you can protect yourself. Employees at the Bank of the Rockies in Clyde Park took notice recently when two of their regular customers came in to withdraw a large amount of money. Janelle Huff says her office manager raised the first questions. She was able to pick up on red flag warning signs and just notice that they were not acting normal for them and intervened at that point. The customers were reluctant to explain, but they finally admitted they'd received a call from someone claiming to be their grandson, saying he was in jail and needed money immediately. The bank employees realized it was a scam. It took some convincing. My office manager went as far as tracking down their grandson at work and got him on the phone with them. These victims were protected from losing their money, but state officials say they're far from the only ones being targeted. In November, the Montana Office of Consumer Protection received 15 complaints about the grandparent scam. In the first three weeks of December, they got 25. We're really seeing an uptick in the number of these scams across our state, and we just want to uh, make sure that Montanans are aware uh, and that they don't get scammed. Attorney General Tim Fox says the scammers are often sophisticated. They may use a second voice pretending to be a lawyer or the police. He says you shouldn't volunteer information like the names of your relatives, and you should always get a second opinion before sending any money. Pressure is a scammer's best tool. If it truly is an emergency, there will be others who know about it, like the parents of the grandkids or maybe their siblings. Maybe if, if your money is in your bank account, for instance, talk to your banker. The bankers have seen these things uh, happen time and time again. Janelle Huff says she's proud they were able to stop at least one person from getting scammed. It's a sad state of affairs that human beings will do this to each other, especially our elderly population. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. Now, if you believe that you've received a scam phone call or if you have any questions about the grandparent scam or other consumer issues, you can contact the Office of Consumer Protection.